So a lot of people think, oh my God, the supplement industry is way too saturated. How am I ever going to break into that? And what, like, what gave you the belief that you could break into the supplement market and have your own well-known supplement? Or was that ever your goal to be a well-known supplement? Um, it, no, it definitely wasn't, wasn't my goal, um, to be a well-known supplement. And I would agree with people. Um, the supplement industry is saturated. You know, like I said, like I, when I first, before I even made Daily Green, was I had tried like 15 different barley, barley grass juice powders. It's like, how many different barley grass juice powders do you need? You know, do you really need like 10 or 15 different? So there's a lot. And if you look at any sort of supplement out there, there's usually, you know, a handful at least or more of those. So when you look at it in that way, it's like, well, yeah, it is pretty saturated. You know, there's, there's a lot of redundancy. There's a lot of people that just want to make a product, stick it out there, and they know they'll get some sales just because it's out there amongst the others. So a lot of people use that as their strategy. Like, I'll just add one more and then I'll get a cut of the pie. So in that way, I think it is saturated, but at the same time, there's always room for, for more if you have something, I say, if you have something unique to offer. That would be my suggestion. You know, don't just be another option out there that's the same as the rest of them. But if you can find something unique that you can offer, mm -hmm. then do it, you know? And that's what it was for me. Um, I, wasn't, I wasn't doing it for the money, so to speak. I was doing it to, to offer something really for myself that I wanted for myself and that I thought that other people would want as well. What, what was that? What is that unique proposition offer that you have? Like, like for me, it was the high quality for the lower price. Oh yeah. Because for me, I keep my overhead down. I don't really have like a, a need to make a huge amount of money, especially off just this one product. Like my, my um, thought process was I'll do this one as a cheap product and then I'll have some follow on products and some follow on services. I can like have a higher, um, profit margin, you know, and make more money sort of on, on multiple products. Those multiple products just haven't showed up yet. You know what I mean? But that was the initial plan is like, okay, I'll go in light in terms of profit on this initial one, because I think it's important for people to have it. And then that's a way to create a customer base. And then I can, you know, have a customer base to, to sell other products and services to. So that was the thought process initially. Um, but at, at this point, it's just worked out to where Daily Green Boost is still just all there is.